Now then, YouTube, I'd like to wish you all a happy and merry new year. This is the 1st of January, and I hope this is not the start of things to come, because I'm at work. Uh, we're supposed to have finished yesterday and be having today off but a little extra job came in so me and another guy volunteered another two guys volunteered to come in get it done and I believe I'm going to have tomorrow off instead but this is something a little project I've been working on for a few days and I just wanted to share with you my findings. So, just before Christmas, Simon sent me a very generous <coughs> Brindley's English mixture from 1988. And, um, I didn't try it straight away because I weren't very well. But I've been trying it, I've had three bowls of it now. And I just wanted to let you know, you guys know my findings. So, here goes as follows. I've got some in my, I think it's a 304, yeah, Peterson 304 sitter. Which my dad bought me from Ireland. And I'll be lighting it with a Christmas gift that a friend I work with um, bought for me. And it is a brass zippo pipe lighter. It's got a little author type shape pipe on the bottom. And the zippo fuel type. Um, Parking shirt. As you can probably hear, we're near the end of the bowl. My thoughts on it are oh, unlike Sir John Dale Piper, I am getting notes of the latter gear, but I'm not really getting any Virginias. The, I've got the smokiness from the Latik here, I believe. I might be mistaken. And it's a very smooth blend. And John talks about floral notes. And I get a similar, uh, not the same taste, but a similar feeling in my mouth from plum pudding. But the taste is different. And the taste what I get is like a elderflower taste. It's only very, very slight. But ultimately, it's a very pleasant mixture. And I don't know what it tastes like before it's 30 odd years of age. And again, I've never heard of this tobacco. But it got me wondering because I've never really tasted anything like it. Well, then I realised I've never actually had a blend, I don't believe, with Cavendish Inn that's got Latakia and Virginia. So maybe that's what this interesting makeup is um, of flavours. But the, the, the best way for me to describe it is I, I get some smokiness from the Latakia and then like an elder flower, not elderberry, elder flower taste in in your mouth. And it's really not overpowering and it's definitely nothing like roses or geraniums. It's really, really, really nice. Really pleasant. And um, from other English mixtures, sometimes you're, you're left with a bit of a, 
I call it a smoky mouth. You're left with a bit of a smoky mouth, which obviously ultimately makes it as though it's not an everyday smoke, it's a special occasion smoke. I usually try and uh, smoke Englishes uh, before I have something to eat, so that once I eat my tea, for example, it cleanses my mouth because I find if not, I'm tasting it all night. Whereas this, you don't get that. Um, but I am far from an expert, but that's just my take on it, and I've really enjoyed it. So I'd like to thank Simon for thinking about me um, and sending me some because, you know, um, it's very dear to me that you, you did that and uh, it's given me the opportunity to try something really rare um, that, again, there's probably, I haven't checked, but I imagine there's no reviews on it or anything like that, so you really are getting an honest uh, reading from your taste buds. So it's really added a new dynamic to anything I've ever tasted before, really, which is nice. Excuse me. So thank you very much for that, Simon. Um, is a, I've also received the walking stick from Simon, made by Phil Rivara. I have been, I have repaired it. I have put a video together, but I wanted to polish or give it a few days to cure because I always find the epoxy takes a little longer when the air can't get to it, which it can't do from how I've repaired it. So I've left it a few days in the house drying. I'm going to give it a clean up uh, tonight, hopefully, and do the last part of the video so you guys, if you're interested, can uh, follow me through the process of repairing this stick. <coughs> and also, he sent me as a gift, very, very generously, um, a mini lathe which I'm hoping to modify and and things to make it uh, cut the v-slots in the pipes it's, all, it's done been done before but uh, the lathe it's got quite a lot of headache and it's not I've not tried it but Simon said it's not sort of um, accurate takes a lot of setting up so I'm going to try and refine it so it makes a very nice v-slot right then guys it's approaching half seven here in the UK time to start work so I hope you have a good New Year's Day I hope you have a really good new year for the rest of the year and until next time guys Keep it lit.